I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a PS5 wireless controller and the exact model for this one is a CFI-ZC-T1W. That information can be found at the back right in the middle. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can fix up the drifting on your joysticks in here. If you dropped it yours and it's just drifting randomly up and down or it's not doing well job. I'm going to make a video how to replace the potentiometer, which they are called. But in this video, I'm going to go over if you don't want to replace it, you can try to uh, clean it and repair it and it should work. And we're going to see the results uh, from this. And if it doesn't work, this uh, the result for cleaning, then I'll leave the link for you to replace it. All right. So um, let's go over to uh, Windows and let's take what are the conditions of this ones and see that how it is right now. I'm con connected via Bluetooth and right away I can see if I move my right one right here, it stays right on top. It's not even, I move it a little bit and it's just coming, going wherever it wants. And the one on the right stick is already on the top. I bring it down, all the way down, all the way up, left, I mean right, left. The left is not even going, doing a good job. I let go and it stays on top. It doesn't even come down. It's supposed to be in the middle. And the one on the top right side, and this is the six axis, which is like the balancing of the joystick. That one is actually working fine. But the left stick, it is acting weird. And the right one, it is pretty much really messed up. So we're going to go over and do a cleanup and come back and see the, the results after. So to open it up, so to open it up, first thing you need to power it off if you want to by holding it a few seconds, you get five to ten seconds to power it off, or you can just leave it like this because you're gonna disconnect the battery. So let's say it is off. So I hold it for ten seconds and it turns off. First, we need to open it up. The tool that I'll be using it's I fix it screwdriver set. From this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips double zero. If you get a pro set, they will include you an opening tools and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a cotton uh, tip, okay? And you will need an alcohol. Isopropolic or isopropolic 95% plus alcohol. These are really good. All right, now we're gonna first remove the bezel, the black bezel right in here. To remove it, you wanna stick the guitar pick, the opening tool at the back right there. And you just want to twist it and you want to hear that click just like that. Once you see this lifting right here, let it go. Same thing on the other side. Then lift it up and let go. Now we're going to work on the in inside, on the outside right here. You just want to lift it up a little bit and we want to just lift it up right there. Okay. Once we got this lifting, now all you need to do is to loosen up a little bit and bring it up. Move the joysticks this way and lift it up, bring it, and don't bring it too much, just 45 degree, and then you can lift it up. Make sure this thing from here, it slides out. All right, now we remove those. We need to remove the R1 and L1 buttons, caps right here. To remove those, open, put the op uh, opening tool right at the bottom here, and you just wanna flicker it upward. And then don't do this by the outside, where it's always gonna go just do it right here and it just comes out. Same thing in here. Just bring it up and it will just come out right away. And you're gonna realize there's one screw under each uh, buttons right here clicks and there's a one screw under each cap right at the bottom. So we're gonna remove these four screws, keep them in one pile. All the screws are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching those. So we're gonna remove all four of them. Also, if you guys like my, if you guys like my video and you want to support the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right. Once we remove the four screws, now we need to first release these two clips right in here. These are the secure clips. You guys can see it right here. So I'm putting it right underneath. 
lifting up a little bit so you can release the hooks right there. Okay. Once you got those released, now all you need to do is separate the bottom from the top cover. So I'm bringing it up, lift it up from here. You want to do a little pull and he's gonna do a little click. It sounds like something breaks, but nothing is breaking. Lift it up and push it towards this front side. So you can scope these triggers right here. All right. So let's put this ones here. Now we see the battery right away over here. We're gonna Take the battery and we're gonna scoop out the battery, just remove it from the connector, just pull the cable out. All right, next we need to remove this tiny screw, single screw right on the bottom of the battery. The screw is the same thing as the rest. Lift up, don't pull out on the tray, there's a little sensor right in here, has a little flex cable. You need a curved tweezers or a straight tweezers, a little pointy. So what you want to do, and there's a little adhesive that holds this one in place. So I'm just going to pull this flex cable upward. And there's no lock. Just pull it up and that's it. It will release itself from there. Next, just grab this tray right in here. So you guys can see, let me focus on this one. There is the hook that I lose. I put this tweezer right beside the hooks and just pull it up. So let's leave that to one side. Now we're gonna remove the left and the right triggers by pulling up this plastic upward. Just pull it back. I don't know if you guys can see it. So pulling it straight. Up, but don't yank it too much, otherwise, you want to damage the flex cable. Okay, you want to do the right side too. There we go. Once we release these ones, you want to release the one at the back here. To release these ones again, there's a little hinge right there, the space right in here to put your tweezers and pull this uh, cover back, this flex cable backward. And there we go. And again, you need to pull this tiny flex cable upward, release this one right there. Now, if you want to remove the board, it's really hard to pull it out. It's not going to come out because there's a tiny triggers right in here. You have to push them to the side. I don't know if you guys can see that trigger right there. You want to push them backward while you pull the, with your thumb, you're pushing this board upward. And there's a trigger right beside the uh, battery jack right there. Push these triggers back and then the flex cable should come out, the board should come out pretty easy. And there we have it. Once the board is out, you can grab it. And we are gonna twist it. No need to desolder anything. You don't need to desolder anything like here on the cables, but if you wanna desolder them, you don't have to solder, you can desolder those. And I'm going to flip it backward on this position. And we're going to pull out the caps for the joysticks. There we have it. Mm, this is a speaker. Um, this is speaker goes right in here. It goes right there. But the other way around. Okay. Now, the every potentiometer here that has a two orange or yours might be blue. So we need to separate these ones, open them up, and we're gonna clean inside. You can do it with a razor blade, or we can you can use a really guitar pick to do this. So let me zoom in. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna Put the guitar pick right between those, and I'm just gonna heal them up, just like this. And there we have it. Don't put too much, just 45 degree. 
You want to do left and the right side. Just pull them back like that. Okay. Now what you're going to do, you want to remove the inside right in here, just by pulling them back. Just remove this one. It has a little springy thing to it. Now we need to clean up all this inside in here. We're going to clean it up. Same thing we're going to do here. We're going to remove those. Now there is no grease or anything in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to grab a cotton tip and we're going to soak the point in the alcohol. And we're just going to rotate inside these ones and we're going to clean up like just going in a circular motion back and clockwise, anti-clockwise, counterclockwise and clean it up. Look at all those dirt that is coming out. You want to clean it up nicely, just do some rotation. And then you want to use a dry part to just dry it up nicely. You want to make sure it's nice and clean, there's no dust or anything on the on this side. And uh, we want to put it in place. You want to rotate, make sure the angle for the has to be in a straight angle right there, so it can go right into this pen. And then you want to gently bring it over and You want to lock it right on top and just push it down. It should do a nice click and then that means it's in place. Same thing in here. Make sure. I'm going to use a flat part to just push it in there. Now I'm going to bring it over and make sure it clicks all the way in. There we go. Now that one is done. We're going to do the same thing on the, the left or right side. And again. There we go. Now that we have it all in set in place, now we're going to bring it, rotate the board back in, move the flex cables out of the way, and bring it down. Remember the flex cable at the bottom has to come over. Okay. And the flex cable right at the top side. Put the board in place, make sure it clicks in. Now we're going to set down the flex cable. You slide this one right in the jack. You straight all the way in. Put this flex cable straight right inside this jack. Oh. Right there. And we're going to put this flex cable at the side. Make sure they go all the way in. The left and the right side. Okay. You need to grab the tray for the battery. You want to bring it over. Set it down. Put the flex cable for this sensor right in here. And Push it right through the jack. Put the single, oh boy. I forgot to put the key caps on, so you have to put the key caps on before you do all this. So again, 
and I'm gonna remove it. So I'll put the key, the joystick caps on. Okay, now we're gonna bring it back together. Okay, we are back to putting up the tray for the battery. Just dump it in there. Put the flex cable right beside it. Put the single screw right in the under the tray. Then you want to grab the battery, put the battery right in the jack, set it down. Grab the bottom cover, scoop down from the top side all the way in, in 45 degree angle, make sure it goes all the way in, push it down, and then you wanna squeeze the handles together really hard, and put the four screws right under the covers. Two on the top and two on the bottom. All right, now what we need to do is to grab the bezel right on top, bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way under the piece, push it inward, wiggle it around, it will find its way, and just squeeze it. You squeeze this left and right side, make sure it nicely gets into its place. Gra grab the key ca keys, and this is the right. Put it straight right on top and just squish it once and it goes into its place. Same thing on this side. You squeeze it once and it goes to its place. Now we're gonna go back to the, we're gonna power it on. And let's test it out and see how it works. So let's see if it detects. So as we can see, it got much, much better. It is actually focused in the middle. There we have it. It might need a little bit more of cleaning because I can see the, the balancing in there, but it is very, very much, much better, I guess. It is centered and it's not going up. Maybe the right one it still needs a little more cleaning, but as you guys can see, if you take your time cleaning those uh, axes inside, they do work, they do get your issue solved. And this is how you do service for your drifting. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment or try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.